Hello everybody. I'm working with the UB Tech Education Intermediate U Kit. And so here is the app to run it, the U Kit EDU. And I built the castle this time. So we scroll over here to the castle. Basically you're building ca you're building remote control doors, not remote control, but automatic doors. Um Lots of little steps, you know, there's a platform. We'll go through here. We got we got the platform to hold stuff. We've got the doors attached to servos and then a infrared sensor above that. That might not be the best place for this. I think maybe down lower would be maybe better if you're thinking doors. Uh depends on how, how widespread the infrared sensor goes and then you got the walls to hold up this is attaching the servo to the wall the walls to hold up the doors and then just castle-ish um, accoutrements and besides two, one servo for each door we've got the touch switch power button and their example called for a sound to play like when you got so close to it that a sound would play and then the person would press to open the door and press to close the door. But they didn't ask you to include a speaker, interestingly enough, in the build. But that's easy to just throw that on, right? Okay. So let's go to um, where we start coding. Again, you always have to attach to uh, Bluetooth, connect the Bluetooth to the board um, and find Bluetooth speaker. Do, 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 do. So their example, which pretty much is what you could, what you would do, um, is, you know, one run is tap, start doing stuff. And their stuff is looking for the infrared sensor to detect an obstacle. Now there's a blank there. That blank needs a number. So you got to come over to math and get the number box number and pick, you know, what do you want? Um, I just put in 10 and then it's going to play a sound. I don't know what, what kind of sounds we got going here. Uh, what sounds good? Giraffe, horse, lion, monkey, machine, emotion, all sorts of little sounds you can fiddle with. Um, horn, I don't know. Okay. Like a doorbell, I don't know. That That's the idea to me. And then uh, touch sensor, when we click it, these servos rotate 90 degrees. Again, one's got to go clockwise, one's got to go counterclockwise because the way they're attached there, they are opposite to each other. And so you got 400 milliseconds, change the speed if you want. Um, 90 degree again, you know, we're just going to get to here. We can always open it farther if you want. Play with those numbers. And then when long pressed, bring it back to zero. So let's hit play. Let me bring this, this over here so we can see it from the top. Um, now I got close so that, that it's going to sound and that until complete is until we complete the next kind of steps. So I'm going to press the button. Opens the doors. Don't know if you can see that from there. And then long press to close the doors. So it's still running. So now I can, okay, I can flip this over here so you can see it better from this side. So again, we come close. Within 10 centimeters. Causes the, the horn to go. And then if I press the button, doors open, horn stops playing because we completed the next step. And then long press to close doors. Um, that's you know pretty much all you can do with this kind of model. Again, you could play with the numbers to see what different values would do for you. Um, from 0 to 90. Um, 
change, you can play with the sounds there. That's one of the things can you know get you working with the Bluetooth speaker a little bit. Um, now what else you could do? Well, there you go. That's their castle doors. I could you make it? You could uh, instead of making doors that open up, you could make a drawbridge. Maybe try a draw. Oh, there we go. I got close to it. Let's play with it. Open the doors. Yeah, you can't really see those. Close the doors. All right. Thanks for watching. Talk later.